Where are the flamingos in Chile's Los Flamencos National Reserve going? Scientists there are turning to technology to try and find out. In 2023, last year, there were nearly 100 or 150 individuals in our research areas. Today, there aren't more than 15 or 20 individuals. Guillermo Quibilos is the head of the Conservation and Investigations Unit for Chile's National Zoo. He says flamingos are highly sensitive to anthropic factors like truck noise and are the first to feel the negative effects of their environment. Scientists are trapping the long-legged pink-plumed birds and attaching satellite transmitters to track their movements. They hope the information will reveal where they feed, breed, and how they use their environment. Cubilo says the data will be used to propose conservation sites and direct conservation efforts for the three species of flamingos in the area. Threats such as climate change, mining, exploitation, in this case lithium, are a potential direct threat to this species and its habitat, not only to flamingos, but their habitat. High plateau lagoons and Andean high wetlands are very fragile systems. Any variation in these environments triggers a variation for the being living in them.